Danny, a short journey to face Forest Green Rovers this weekend. What are your thoughts heading into it? Uh, yeah, I think the boys are positive. Uh, we're looking forward to it. Good test against Forest Green, as it always is. Um, another group stage game in the Youth Alliance Cup. We've won two, was it three? i um, not sure, but uh, we'll look forward to it. Get another win, hopefully. Keep keep us top of the group and f hopefully progress into the, to the next round. And before we talk about Saturday's game, this week saw you make your first team debut against Bristol Rovers. Just talk a little bit about how proud of a moment that was for you. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I've been at this club since I was 10, 11. Um, so getting onto the pitch out there in front of the fans um, just felt a really good moment for me and my family. So thank you to all the coaches and, um, yeah, hopefully more to come. In the game, saw yourself along with Miles, George and Botan all included in the match day squad. You guys obviously played with each other for a while now and created a brilliant attack in the under-18s. Did that make it even more special? Yeah, definitely. I mean, me and George have gone to school together since we were 12. Um, so being next to him as well makes it more special. But the four of us this year have been combining well for goals and assists. Um, I think our numbers are quite high and we all know our strengths. So I think it, it helped a lot that us four were on the bench as well. And for the rest of the under 18, seeing you guys included in the first team game days, would you say that pushes them to be better as well? Um, yeah, I mean... Hopefully, hopefully it does. So it creates a, a good environment. Uh, everyone's pushing each other. Everyone comes in and helps everyone get better every day. And that's just the main goal, get better every day. So, And obviously being a part of that game has changed what a normal week would look like for you. So how has this week's uh, prep been different compared to usual? Um, well, to be fair, uh, Tuesdays and Mondays would be quite light, but that was that was like it regardless on on Monday and then Tuesday with the game um, normally Tuesdays are high high top speed distances and high lots of distance so um, yeah the game didn't really affect that much um, and then today and tomorrow will hopefully be a bit more about how we're going to set up against Forest Green. And it's the first of back-to-back -back games against Saturday's opponent this one being as you mentioned in the Youth Alliance Cup what are you expecting from Forest Green? Um, we know Forest Green like to play with the ball. They're they're comfortable playing out with the with the ball. Uh, their midfielders are quite good on the ball, and the wingers they're they're boisterous. They'll get at you one v ones. Uh, good good striker, so he won't mind going one on one or two two v one against our centre backs. Um, defensively, not not sure too much about that, but we know that it'll always be a tough game against Forest Green. And you guys are obviously, as you mentioned, unbeaten this, in this competition. Two wins from two. Firstly, how crucial is this game for putting you in the perfect position to advance through to the knockout stages? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we all, we've got goals that we, we want to achieve this season and getting top of this group is one of them. So I think winning this game will set us perfectly for the final game, hopefully give us that momentum. And especially coming off the loss from the weekend, I think getting us another win and then hopefully just building momentum and getting wins and wins and wins. And as you just mentioned there, last week saw a tough defeat against a good Portsmouth side. How are you personally and the team as a whole looking to bounce back straight away from that result? Um, I think what we can do is look, look what happened, see some of the clips, uh, analyse it and then um, just see what we can do better. I mean, it's in the past, but hopefully we'll learn from those mistakes and yeah, continue forward.